let's complete our app.js file here so we can start making our routes and models. So I'm going to use another uh, app.use here and then this one I'm going to use the body parser and I'm going to use the uh, the response of JSON. And if again, if you're a little bit curious about this, you can always go search. So in here, if you just do the search for MDM, which is a really good place for documentation, uh, you can read about the response.json, which basically it reads everything to completion before it returns the promise uh, and whatever is in it. So we're using this here uh, along with everything else. Uh, and after we have this here, we're gonna set up some routes. Uh, I'm gonna set up a, a Let's call it a standard route, but that's all right. And again, if you're curious about where these things can also be found, I'm, it's not something I'm making up, is I just search for uh, expressed explain by, uh, explain by example, and it, this page here, again, if you can see here, it's doing the exact same thing. So we have app.get, we are using, uh, to, this is the front page, and then they're passing in the requirement responses, and then using the federal notations, to, in this case, just send out hello world. So we're gonna expand it a little bit more eventually, um, but for starters, let's let's do something similar. So we use this as they have in here. We are passing in the res, oop, res and require, and uh, using the fat error notation, but I'm gonna use objects here. Well, they do as well, but since we only have one thing, they're kind of not needed, but like they showed here on their page. So because there's only one thing they're sending in, we don't need uh, to actually put those around if you don't want to, but that, that's just, that's about function arrows. Yeah. But anyways, let's do our rest.send. And in this one, we're just gonna go yay or whatever. You can write whatever you want really, uh, home page. So because we're going to this specific place, right? So that's the first part of our get, sorry, routes. I'm also going to create a, another one here. Um, I'm gonna call this const to, well, I'm gonna do capital, to do's route. So save it in here. And in here, I am going to require, and what I need to require is basically, I'm, I'm giving it the path for where this file will be. So I haven't created this, so it's not gonna help me, but I know the name of it, so. If you had this created as a file, it will help you complete this as well. As you can see, try to go into node modules, but I don't have those. I'm not gonna need those. So here, this is just me creating this. So I'm requiring this specific folder. If you have more routes, then you can do another constant right now. I'm just gonna do a, like a basic version of only one CRUD. Uh, so if you have multiple things, multiple collections, you can add more in here as well. Uh, so not only for to-dos, but for like projects or users or whatever you have. App.use again, and here we are telling it what the path, to dos, to dos, what the path will be for the URL, so in the browser. So when I do slash to-dos, it will go here. And what I'm passing through is the to-dos route. So what I do in that file, um, route, like so. so I'm going to create this. I'm gonna set up more routes in that one instead of having everything in my app.js. I wanna separate things, so making it a little bit more component-based, kind of like what we're gonna do with you as well. Last thing here is for starting the server. I can't start it now, but it doesn't know where to actually go. Uh, so we need to tell the system or the application where to, what port to listen for. Uh, and we can do 8080. Well, we can, but we have conflicts uh, because this is where Vue also starts its server Then we have to change this one. So I'm gonna use 3000, which is very standard. And in here, oh my God, this keyboard. Um, we are going to just console log out if we have some information listening at port 3000. So let's click save. Let's hope we don't have an error. Let's expand this. Let's do npm start and let's see if we have errors. And I do have an error. I have an import, what's this? Uh, line one. Oh, I the, the miss thing, I misspelled something and apparently it imported it for me. I'm gonna like remove this, save. And what else? So let's read through the issues we have. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> So if I see here right now, it's trying to locate a, sorry, <clears throat> it's trying to locate a router 
call to do, which is in line, like I actually see it here, line 15 by 15. Uh, where's the line number? Anyways, I know it's right here. Uh, you can use it, there we go, 34. Uh, but that doesn't actually fit with this one, doesn't matter. But these two is making the system go uh, Kaplui. So for just quick testing, I'm just gonna do, we'll add them more, but once we add them, it will work. Um, and then we have an error with code uh, 8000 I think there's something with admin I can't remember uh, but let's see so we have oh, well, authentic authentication we have an issue here so right now I have a bad auth and this is probably because of my link path here so yes so Mongo is trying to connect so when you copy this exactly like I did I forgot to do a little thing here so you can see right now I have admin, which is my admin user, and my password is this, but that's not true, right? Yours is probably something else. So you need to, if you did the same error as me, go up here for admin, and after this one, punch in your code, and one is just, mine is just a amazing one, two, three, four. So I'm gonna click save, see if this makes it work. And now we're at here. So now I could go to this port, and they can actually go to the browser. Let's do localhost, not that one, 3000. And we have some errors, so we can't do everything yet because we're only part into it. But we have the server running, and as you can see, we have some issues here. But this is not something you should worry about now because we're not done setting everything up. Uh, but for now, just redo these. I'm gonna stop this down here so it doesn't clutter everything. Uh, remove this so we still have our constant here and everything is as it should be. So there's like space here, that's a little bit better. So now we have our app set up and in the next video we're going to start setting up our to-dos and our models and our routes.